Welcome into the video. I am your tech guide, Wayne. Today I want to show you how to transfer your files from your Samsung Galaxy A14 or any other Samsung A series phone right to your computer. I will be doing this to a PC computer. So let's get started here. Now, just to show you, I'm going to swipe up and I'm going to go to the gallery. You can see I just have a couple of pictures that are on the phone right now. These are all the things I'll be transferring to the computer. And uh, the process is pretty simple. So you'll want to use the cable that came in the box of your phone. Um, the Samsung A14 will come with a Type-C to Type-C cable. Looks just like this. Now for those of you that have slightly older computers, you may not have a Type-C port on the other end of the computer. In that case, you will need to purchase a cable like this, which is Type-C on one side, and it is a USB 2.0 on the other. So I'll have a link in the description of where you can find this cable. I'll also have a link in my little shopping cart somewhere around this part of the screen where you can click to find that cable. So just a note, this is an easy cable to get and you'll be able to use that to connect to your computer. Now I have a newer computer and it does accept the type C. So, all right, let's plug in this first end here and I'm gonna slide the phone over because I want you to be able to see the screen and see all the transferring right here. Cable is plugged in. You should see a pop-up in the bottom right corner of the screen. One option is to click on this pop-up here and it will give you some options for the phone. Um, you can simply, the easiest way I would suggest is go to open device to view files right here and it will take you to the folder that is linked with the phone, okay? Now you'll see a pop-up on the screen. You will need to hit allow to give the phone, give the computer access to control the phone. Tap allow. And now this folder is gonna show you this pop-up here that shows the internal storage. Now if you don't see that pop-up um, on your computer in the bottom right corner, no problem. The other thing you'll wanna do is simply um, go to my computer or go to the little folder at the bottom of the screen and going here will take you to your, uh, basically your PC and you can see everything that's connected. And I wanna, on the left side, I'm gonna slide down here and go to this PC. And then here you should see uh, Galaxy A14 5G on the screen and you'll just simply double click on there, double click on the internal storage and I'm clicking. So I'm using a mouse pad, but if you're using a mouse, you're gonna just double click on the folder if you're using a mouse pad, just simply click twice, click, click, and that will allow you to open the folder. You'll wanna go to the DCIM folder. This is the digital camera internal memory folder right here. And that's gonna take you to all the pictures and videos that are currently stored on the phone. And uh, obviously screenshots are gonna be stored in this folder and the other pictures and videos will be just in the camera folder. So double click on that folder and here I just have a couple of uh, pictures and videos. And what I'm gonna do is at the top of this window here, I'm just gonna drag this over to the left here. And then at the bottom of the screen, I'm gonna come down to this little folder again. I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna hit File Explorer. And that'll open up a second screen. And I just wanna shrink this down now I wanna, on the left side here, come down to pictures. And this is my picture section on the computer. I want to uh, right click, or excuse me, you should have two options. You either have a new button right here that you can click and go down to folder to create a new folder on the screen. This will create a new folder and put it right in your pictures or you can simply right click within this folder, right click on the mouse or trackpad and go to new and then go to folder and that'll create a folder. And now I'm just gonna name it um, cell phone pictures and videos, or you can just name it um, pictures from my phone. Maybe that's better. Pictures from phone. And I always like to date it 1 16 24. So when I go back later to look at it, I'll know that's what day I dropped these pictures in. Now I'm gonna double click on this folder and now I'm in the folder, and now I'm gonna come over to the left side of the screen here, 
I'm gonna click on just one of the pictures. Now you have the option to take one picture, select a few pictures, or take all the pictures. Um, the easiest way is to, you can either click, so I've selected this one picture here, and if I click, keep my finger on the mouse, I can drag this over, and then I can let it go and drop it right into that folder. So that's one option, or I can click on one file, and then I'm gonna hold down on the Control and A button, and that will select all of the pictures and the videos. Now I can click on the mouse and keep my finger down on the mouse, left click, and drag it all the way over to my new folder and drop it just like that. And that will put a copy of those pictures in this new folder here, okay? Now one important thing to note, you have to decide are you trying to put a copy of these pictures on your computer or are you trying to simply move them off so you can free up space? If you're just making a copy, you're gonna do what I just did. However, let's click and let's delete these and we'll try it again. If you're trying to actually move the pictures off because you're trying to create some space because your phone is full, you can always, you know, click and if you hold down the shift button, you can click on multiple pictures, right? So I've selected all the pictures. Now what I wanna do is I wanna right click on one of these files, right click, and I can uh, hit cut. If I hit cut, it's gonna pick up all those files, and now I'm gonna come over to my new folder. I'm gonna click first. I wanna click in this box so the computer knows I'm trying to do something in this new folder here. Now I wanna right click, and I wanna click on this button here. This is the paste button. Click on that, and it's going to move those pictures over from off the phone onto the computer. So guess what? This is the internal storage on this left side here, and guess what? All the files have now been moved. They're not no longer in the phone. Now they're only on the computer in this folder I just created. So those are your two options when it comes to transferring pictures and videos to the computer. You can copy, you can put a copy on the computer, or you can simply um, move it over, and you can basically cut and paste, and that will actually you know, totally move them off the phone to the computer. So, and when you're all done, all you'll need to do is simply unplug the phone, and that will disconnect it from the computer. And now you'll be good to go. Now look, if I go to my gallery, All those pictures that were on the phone are no longer there. They've all been moved over to the computer. So this is a way to also free up space by simply transferring them to the computer and you know giving you more space back on your phone. So if you guys found this helpful, hit the like button down below. Leave me a comment as well. Um, again, I was running the latest version of Windows, so your computer might look slightly different, but for the most part, things should be um, look similar enough for you to follow this on an older computer. And that's how you transfer your files from your Samsung phone to the computer. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.